guys, welcome back to a brand new video or if you have never seen my face before, hi my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am going to tell you how to save money in Disneyland Paris. We all know that Disneyland Paris can get really expensive so I'm here your fairy godmother to give you some good tips to save some money. Before we dive into all these money saving tips, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos and vlogs I post on this channel. While you're at it, also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy Disneyland Paris content. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, how to save money in Disneyland Paris. Let's start with the first step you are going to do, probably when you are going to Disneyland Paris, book a hotel. Most people really want to go to these super amazing, beautiful Disneyland hotels. But there are also some other options that are right outside the parks and those are called Disneyland Partner Hotels. And there are quite a few of them and they are like way cheaper in comparison with the Disneyland Hotels. So for the Partner Hotels you actually have, I have a little list right here, a little cheat sheet. You have a B&B. Explorers Hotel, Magic Circus, Campanile, Dream Castle, Redison Blue, and there are even a few extra hotels like a little bit further away. But these are so much cheaper than the Disney hotels, and you can really save yourself hundreds of euros by going to these partner installs rather than going to a Disney hotel. And with most of these Disney partner hotels, you also get a very lovely, convenient shuttle bus that will take you from the hotel to the parks and from the parks back to your hotel. So you can actually save yourself some additional money for parking. So yeah, a win-win. Book partner hotels over Disney hotels. Tip number two, I mentioned it a little bit in the previous tip, but Disneyland Paris parking. You pay an additional 30 euros to park your car in their parking. So that is an extra 30 euros that you have to pay just for your car to sit in their parking lot. Um, as I mentioned before, the partner hotels offer a free shuttle bus. And I believe that they don't even check if you are staying at the partner hotels for you to park your car on their parking lot. So cheeky little tip, park your car at the B&B hotel or Explorers Hotel Campanile and just get your free shuttle from there to save yourself 30 bucks per day for parking. Tip number three, if you are actually going to stay in a Disneyland hotel, you actually get a little magic pass and with the magic pass you can get yourself four free hot drinks per day. So yeah, you can save yourself a little bit of extra money by going to one of these coffee vending machines and get yourself a nice tea or a coffee or even a hot cocoa. And you can actually save some money on your coffee or other hot drinks. So you can actually walk to the parks with your free coffee in hand and wake up. What better way with free coffee? So don't forget your Magic Pass has four free hot drinks. So we just booked our cheaper hotel. Now we are going to book ourselves some tickets so we can actually get into the park. For this tip, I highly recommend considering to buy an annual pass over a day ticket for the parks. But that really depends on the fact if you would like to go um, multiple times in one year. If you only want to go to Disneyland Paris one time, then just stick with your very expensive day tickets. But if you would like to come back in the same year, maybe opt for an annual pass. And I have a little comparison for you right here. 
one undated day ticket for two parks is 130 euros. A one day dated ticket for two parks is between 97 and 130 euros, depending on the day you are going. So if you want to go in the weekends on peak season, you will pay 130 euros. But if you go in the lower season, then you might end up with a cheaper ticket. But if you are going to look to the annual passes, you um, can get yourself the cheapest annual pass for 229 euros. The most expensive one is 499 euros. So you can really just check what fits for you. But if you go for an annual pass, you also get some additional discount. So really consider the fact that annual passes exist, especially when you would like to go back in the same year. If you would like some extra, very deep information about annual passes, I also made a video about that and I will link it somewhere up here so you can go and have a look to see what these annual passes are and what you can get with them. The next tip I really want to share with you is bring your own food and drinks. Also, don't forget your refillable water bottle because there are a lot of water fountains throughout the park so you can quickly refill those bottles and save yourself like an additional 60 euros per person per day on food and drinks because let's face it, food and drinks are very expensive in the Disneyland Paris parks so if you would like to save another 60 or so bucks per day, then really bring your own food, snacks and drinks. Disneyland Paris offers some very beautiful, brilliant shows that you can go to and enjoy. On the website and on the Disneyland Paris app, they make you believe that you need to purchase tickets to actually see those shows. You don't. So don't buy additional tickets for these shows. Right now I am talking about the Lion King show and also the Mickey and the Magician show. One is at the Disneyland Paris Park and the other one is shown on the Disneyland Studios Park. Don't pay for these tickets. If you go up to these locations and just wait for like 20 minutes before the show starts, you will get in for free. So yeah, I have said it a lot of times. I'm going to say it once more. Don't buy additional tickets for shows. You don't have to. Don't do it. You can save yourself like another 60 euros if you go with a family of four. So don't buy those tickets. If you are going to Disneyland Paris in the colder, rainier months of the year, I highly recommend that you bring your own umbrella and ponchos. You can just keep them in your backpack and get them out whenever you need them. Because believe me, the umbrellas and the ponchos in the parks are like expensive because you need them when the weather is shit. So definitely don't forget to pack your umbrellas and ponchos. If you are going to Disneyland Paris with kids, I have another great tip for you to save some money and also save yourself some sad kids. <laughs> um, kids will want to buy every single thing that they see in the Disneyland parks and obviously the prices of these products and toys and plushies are through the roof. So I highly recommend that you go into some stores before you go onto the Disneyland trip. Just head over to Primark or some other stores that have Disneyland merch or Disney toys um, and just pick some of these toys and plushies up beforehand. And in that way, if your kids are loving all the toys and the plushies in the parks, you can surprise them when you head back to the hotel with one of those pre-purchased plushies and they won't even know if it is from the Disneyland Paris Park or if you picked it up somewhere else. So yeah, this is just a little tip. 
I know that a lot of people really want to have one or two souvenirs that are actually from the park, but these kids will want to buy anything. So just pick yourself up some Disney toys from different stores and see those excited little eyes when you surprise them back at the hotel. So this one also ties in a little bit with the toy tip for kids, but this is actually about Disney merch. I know right now I am decked out in a spirit jersey and a matching headpiece. So yeah, I'm not the one to talk, but Disneyland Paris merch is super expensive. For this spirit jersey alone, you pay like 60 or 70 euros. And this is like an additional 20 or 30 euros. So for two items, 100 bucks, you know, it's just poop, it's gone. So if you are on a tighter budget, go to some stores beforehand, once again, that have Disney collaborations, like Primark does this sometimes, CNA does this sometimes, H&M, like just go on the internet and find some Disney collabs so you can put together your cute Disney fit for a much smaller price because yeah, the stuff in the Disneyland parks is really cool and once you get into the park you are going to have that Disney fever and you want to buy everything. But if you are already wearing a very cute Disney fit then you might not end up buying a very expensive spirit jersey. So maybe this little tip will help you save some money. And that were all the tips that I wanted to give you today on how to save money in Disneyland Paris. Let me know in the comments down below which tip you find most helpful. And also definitely hit me up if you need some extra help or information about Disneyland Paris because I'm over there all the time and I love to help you guys out. So definitely let me know if you want some help. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!